Okay, there's a really awesome intro. You know what? Just sit back and watch the intro. Because I love this intro. It's like, this is what sold me on Star Ocean as a franchise. <laughs> so this will just give you a general feel of Star Ocean. I like the music for it, too. If you like sci-fi, if you like Star Trek, if you like violating the Prime Directive, this game might be for you. I will warn, it starts off very slow, but it's worth it. The future! God damn, I love Star Ocean. I love them all. Even Last Hope, even though it's not very good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that aesthetic. So yeah, that, I love it. It's, it's honestly, that's the best intro to any of the Star Ocean games. So, uh, I, I think I had a game going on this, but I'm, I'm just gonna start fresh. Um, this game right here was my intro to the Star Ocean franchise, and it's a really good introduction. Uh, I think it's the best one out of all of them. Although I am playing the newest one, and I think it's alright. It doesn't offend me like the last one, but um, but yeah, this is a good one. So let's go ahead and jump right in. New game. Oh, look at that. Oh, we can go widescreen? That doesn't really help. Look at that. That doesn't do anything because of the... Um, because of the way the PS3 renders PS2 games, that doesn't, that doesn't do anything. Um, <clears throat> anyway. So, Star Ocean, it starts off very slow, okay? Oh yeah, Square Enix, yeah. Uh, this starts off real slow, okay? Um, I guess I want to be able to skip events. Um, yeah, I want the option. Subtitles and voice. Uh, I don't have any vibration with this controller, so it doesn't matter. We're going to be playing on galaxy level. <laughs> so, the way that Star Ocean begins, there's a lot of, um, I I'll warn you, there's a lot of talking, okay? There's a whole lot of talking in Star Ocean. Um, there's lots of dialogue. It's very slow to get going. But once it gets going, it, it really gets going, so... Um, let's see. I love this. I can, I can import my battle trophy data. Uh, no thanks. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, continue event. So I have the option of skipping an event. Uh, I'm not gonna skip for now. So here's the actual game. And it, it is very anime just you know warnings in advance so here's our protagonist and main character 
They always have blue hair. It's, you know, Square Enix, they didn't used to be overly anime, not back in the day. Uh, but... Sorry. I didn't plan on staying so long. But this one is more stylistic, I think, than, uh, say, a Final Fantasy game. In terms of the style of the characters and all that. Again, anime! Welcome to anime! And yes, English voice acting. Uh, it's on by default. But I was fighting so well today. And I leveled up a lot too, you know? <laughs> also, the main character leveled up. Yeah, yeah. How nice for you. Hmm. Someone's in a bad mood today. What do you expect? You'd rather play games than hang out at the beach with me. Sophia? Hmm. Uh, we've we've angered Sophia Matt? already. Go to the beach. <laughs> I swam enough while somebody I know was having the time of his life playing games all by himself. Yeah, again, big foreheads, big eyes. Uh, yes, welcome to anime. So, do you want to take a walk through the hotel? I bet it'll be fun. <laughs> what do you say? Come on, please. Great. Let's go. Time's a wasted. Okay. Let's go do things. Boy, she sure is taking forever. I bet she's making me wait on purpose. Uh, the it wouldn't be anime without a good internal monologue, you know? Took you long enough. What were you doing all that time? Just changing. I didn't take that long, did I? Besides, you kept me waiting. How long was it? Thirty. Alright, just, I know, skip. Just, uh, there's gonna be a lot of dialogue, so I might just kinda get hasty on that X button. Yes, that background music. For the most part, I like the music in the Star Ocean uh, franchise. For the most part, okay. Just don't yank my arm off. Although it, it's not always the most appropriate for the situation. And yes, yes, those pants are in fact open. Yes, they are. Because in the future, no one buttons their shirt. No one buttons their pants. Uh, it's all about easy access in the future. So, let's, uh, now that I have some gameplay. So, triangle, that gets me my main menu. And you even get some nice anime art for your characters. <laughs> uh, right now I don't have any equipment skills, I, I don't really have anything. Um, so let's get into it. Now, wait, hold on. I forget if this game has a quest log or not. See, it, look at this. They give you a dictionary. That's nice. Um, yeah, I don't think you get a quest log in this game. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually go into any of the rooms in the game. Like, this game is actually really open when it comes to allowing you to just go into people's houses and rooms and... Um, there's there's actually relatively few fake doors in this game. All right, let's see. I'm just getting used to things here. So all of these are transporters linked to the hotel's main floor. So yeah, we are so far in the future that stairs and elevators are no longer a thing. In the future, 
we use transporters to get, you know, like maybe five feet up and down. So, yeah. Welcome to the Star Trek future. Oh, and there's also a, there's a holodeck. There is a holodeck that we can go to where we can practice our battle skills if we want to. All right, to the transporter. Now, when it comes to transporters, uh, do you subscribe to the theory that every time you go in the transporter, you have just died and you have been replaced by a, uh, a re-atomized clone of yourself at the destination? I don't know, like that, I, I gotta be honest, that theory kind of, it would just make, like it would make Star Trek so terrifying. It would make it a horror show. So, there's there's some there's some optional characters that we can talk to. Uh, we don't have to, and I you know honestly I'd prefer not to. As a matter of fact. All right, here's the lounge. Uh. Got a nice little waterfall here. Uh, can talk to random people. Let's we'll see, what does he got? Okay, the games in our hotel are all realistic, full-body simulations. But he prefers the old type of game where you use a joystick. <laughs> now, what we're looking for is the transporter to the... Um, to the private beach. That's what we're looking for. Hmm. So, we came out from what? The left side? I'm trying to think, like, where did I come from? I think I came from over there. Let's try over here. Alright, we're in the 1F Lobby West Transporter Room. Okay, so these are linked to the private beach. That's where we want to go. Yeah, that's the thing, is if you see transporter, yeah, like, that you just... Again, it would be horrifying. Like, no one would ever step in a transporter. It'd be, you know, don't don't call it a transporter. Call it a death machine. Call it a suicide booth. Because that's what it is at that point. Oh, hey, look, aliens. <clears throat> yes, it's a it, it's a it's a foxtail girl alien because that's how aliens work. Why not? And uh, so where we are right now, uh, if you can't tell, we are on vacation, all right? So we're on vacation on a pleasure planet, I guess you'd call it, where there's just lots of beaches and everyone's having a fun time and capitalism all the way. Oh, look, a dolphin man. Hmm. Man, a dolphin man with a surfboard, I just find that to be puzzling and also we're in the age of fixed camera angles so sorry about that uh wait here we go here we go so here's here's the main character's parents yeah he's on vacation with his parents of course See, look, they're trying to get him to stop playing those damn video games. It's like, look, we, we brought Sophia along because we were, we were hoping to get you laid, son, but you're just playing those damn holodeck video games.
And I guess our parents don't get voices, so... So you know they're gonna last a long time. Hmm. I don't think there's too much else we can do down here, really. But let's look around for fun. Maybe there's some secrets, huh? <laughs> Man, there's so many stories in Star Trek that revolve around somebody getting stuck in the transporter or, I don't know, sent back in time through the transporter or turned into a some kind of... Um, de-evolved lizard thing in the transporter. I mean, there's, there's there's just so many dumb stories of transporter abuse. Hmm. I guess we don't have anything else to say here, huh? Because Dad doesn't have anything to say. He's just going to be quiet now. Okay, I guess we're done there. Uh, we, we don't want to don't want to hang on the beach or nothing. <laughs> Man, you know, here's the thing. <clears throat> My favorite episodes of uh, Star Trek across all the series. Um, I like the Mirror Universe episodes, you know, like where, uh, you know, like in the alternate universe where everyone's just like evil for no reason. Uh, I, I like those episodes a lot. And yeah, that that would be another implication of the transporter is uh, wouldn't the transporter also double as a cloning device? Again, these are just things you have to think about if you if you think about transporters in that way, like if you really think about transporters, right? Okay, I think what we want to do now is we want to we want to hit the holodeck. Oh. But the games here are the latest models. They just upgraded them. I'll have to come back later. Damn. We gotta hang out with her. God damn it. Well, what are we supposed to... How do we hang out? Uh. <laughs> Man, Riker, you know, I'm not that big of a fan of TNG. I'm really not. Again, I liked Voyager, um, but I will say, Riker is a is an amazing character. Let's just go into someone's room, for no reason. Let's just go into somebody's room. Oh, hey, it's a is that a monkey person? Huh? Yeah, it's just a monkey person. Don't worry about it. So, what is what is this chat chamber? Hmm. It, that's how it works though. Everyone with a you know, everyone has a, a goatee. That's that's how you know they're evil. Alright, let's try going the other way. <laughs> but you know, as a total aside, so I think I think everyone sort of collectively uh, decided that this was the worst thing ever, right? So at the end of uh, Star Trek Enterprise you know, the ending, because we were talking about Riker, right? So at the end of Enterprise, it turns out the whole thing, the whole thing, was just Riker dicking around in the holodeck. Like, the last episode of Enterprise, Riker just pops out, and it's like, oh, it was all a holodeck simulation. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Does this go to the same place? Hmm. Yeah, let's go this way. And yeah, I, look, Enterprise was good. I thought Enterprise was, uh, it was fun. But, uh, I don't know, it was fun, but... But not really, uh, not the best. Not the, not exactly the, the best that, uh, Star Trek has to offer, maybe. Okay, I think we might have to go into this room. God damn it. I'm gonna skip this. It's um it's not at all important or necessary. Um and it's gonna take a really long time, so in the sake of brevity.
we're gonna skip this side event. Okay, so we got a performance ticket. Okay, so what just happened, and I just skipped it, I skipped it because it's it's like a side thing, and it's one of those things where it just takes forever. So, there's a bunch of side characters, um, traveling circus folk, and, and this character right here, which is a future party member, actually. Let's get out of here. We'll see them again, don't you worry. Hmm. Okay, so we got a little bit of uh, a little bit of story here. So there's the Aldian Empire and the Vendine. So there's some alien empires that are not so friendly. Hmm. Okay, so again, alien empires that maybe things aren't so great all the time. Hmm. <laughs> no, don't worry, don't worry. It's just, like I said, for the sake of brevity, I uh, I just skip ahead on, on some of the optional conversations. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, look, now he wants to use the combat simulator. Okay, so, yeah, now it's time to use the combat simulator. Hmm. No, let's try to persuade her, all right? Video games are awesome. Get in there. Why don't you give it a try, Sophia? It's really fun. But isn't this one of those combat simulators? Don't you have to fight? No can do. I don't like these kind of games. Uh, she, she'd rather play Bejeweled. Uh, Bejeweled 9000, because it's the far future. Uh, how about, how about this? Um... Yeah, I'll protect you. Don't worry. I'll protect you. Because he's a very, very strong big man. <laughs> I'd never let you do anything dangerous. I Look, it's just the holodeck where we uh, you know, we pretend to be medieval warriors and kill each other with swords. It's it's good clean fun. Come on, try it. <laughs> Let's start at an easy level since you're Yeah, see we'll just we'll take it easy on her because you know she probably can't keep up. You'd prefer a character that uses symbology from a distance rather than one that fights up front, right? Yeah. Well it won't hurt, will it? Don't worry. Beginner's level doesn't hurt at all, really. Presumably, on the higher levels, uh, the holodeck will just kill you, right? Oh, oh yeah, we also, because of the cutscene that I skipped, yeah, the, the little circus girl, she drew on, on the back of our shirt. So we're going to have that for the rest of the game. Have fun with that. Do, Sophia. Let's start from the beginning. You want to take a look at the instructions? I don't know. Should I? We don't need no instructions. You probably should. Otherwise, it won't be much fun. Okay. Well, you know, of course the holodeck has to malfunction so that, you know, crazy Abraham Lincoln can run around the ship with an axe, you know? <laughs> hmm. Is it going to make me do this? Oh, God. It's going to make me go through this, so let me just skip, because I know how combat works, okay? I know how combat in this game works. Yeah, precautions, I know. I know, thanks. There's no skipping this, is there? No, there isn't.
Yep, thanks for all that. I know all about the battle trophies. Start. All right, let's play. Computer, start. Player one, Fate Line Guard. Character, Swordmaster Adonis Klein. User level, Triple A. Oh, he's, he's been doing a lot of grinding, huh? Player two, Sophia Esteed. Character, Blair Witch Cecilia Fairmana. User level, E. Battlefield, Remote City of Listia. Monster level, E. Setup complete. Continue. Okay, we're ready. All right, let's do it. Preparing to commence. This simulation system may abort a game if it detects the player's safety is at risk. Of course, they're, you know, gotta have those safeguards, right? I already know that. Just start. Confirm. Commencing game. Alright, so here we are, combat! So, the combat in this game is unique from most of the uh, Final Fantasies at the time. Because it's in real time! It's just 100% real time, and there's there's like buttons and combos, and uh, right now I don't have any combos, but uh, as we get into the game, you know, we'll be air juggling, okay? We will be air juggling the shit out of things. Also, she's dead. Uh, let me see if I can get her back up. I've only got blueberries. That's not really going to help. Uh, let's see. What are my What are my tactics? Okay, that doesn't really help me now. Let's just fight. Ah. Uh, again, it really doesn't feel good to not have any... Just, I, do, I do not have any combos or anything. And she's already, like, you know, she's, she's just dead this whole time, so... Oh, look, look at that. So you got short attacks and long attacks. So long attacks, you do that. And hold on, let me see if I can get a little something going here. There we go. Combos. Good. Now let's get going. Yeah, I don't know. I really like the combat in this game. It's It's pretty much standard for all the Star Ocean games. Like, even the new one that just came out, it plays exactly like this. And and I love it. Look, she's worn out. Well, yeah, she would be. She kind of she kind of got killed, like, in the first, you know, five seconds. But wasn't it fun? Well, it wasn't too bad, I guess. Let's do it again. What? We're going <laughs> to play again? Don't worry. It's basically the same as last time. So let's see if I can not get her killed this time, okay? Let's see if we can do this and uh, and she doesn't die. Oh wow, I'm getting. Oh god, I'm getting chain comboed. Uh, let's use blueberries. Well, she died again, so I guess I I cannot save her. She just has to die. Alright, let's kind of maneuver around here. Oh, I'm probably going to get taken out. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that time we both died. Don't worry about it. I'm old enough not to worry about winning or losing. See, he's not going to rage quit. What matters is, did you have fun or not? If you did have fun, let's continue our game sometime, okay? You'll get better with a little practice. Then again, if you were bored, then there's really no point. What do you say we stop now and go get a bite to eat or something? You look pretty bushed. Yeah. Speaking of bushed, you might want to button those pants up. I'm just saying. <laughs> you need more exercise. I know it's the future and everything, 
but come on. Hmm. Guess I'm just a fatty. No one's saying that. Sheesh. Hey, let's go find my mom and dad. Right. All right, so now we have to go down to the beach. So let's continue. Okay. No time to hit the beach. What There's now? just no time. Level two tremor detected. <laughs> the system will be temporarily deactivated for your safety. We apologize for any inconvenience. Oh, look, my mind's not in the gutter. Her pants are just completely unbuttoned in the front. How are those pants even staying up? They should just be falling down. An earthquake? But Haida 4 is a stable world with no tectonic activity. There shouldn't be any earthquakes. So yeah, it's not an earthquake. So yeah, our, our delightful uh, pleasure planet vacation world, it's under attack. I guess it must be those future pants, huh? Like, they just kind of... They, they just stay on your hips no matter what, right? All civilians should follow immediate evacuation instructions on the nearest console. I repeat... Computer, what's going on? Remote Station 7, Haida 3 and Haida 4 are currently under attack by unidentified ships. Remote Station 7 has scrambled its own ships to mount a counterattack, but they are outnumbered and therefore unable to provide evacuation assistance <laughs> to hide yeah, You know, you're right. Like, the computer, all the computer should be saying is, please, you know, report to the emergency escape pods. They don't need to be telling us all this. It's just going to make everyone panic. An attack by unidentified ships? Stand by for video display. Ooh, we get a video display. I guess they don't come in peace. Yeah, they definitely don't come in peace. I don't believe it. Well, we're dead. As an emergency measure, all transporters have been directly linked to the evacuation terminal. Please commence evacuation by Please. following the established route. Don't worry, Sophia. I'll stick with you. Thanks. Yeah, so sh the shit just got real, pretty much. I've never seen ships like those before. Even if mom and dad are alright. First things first. We gotta get out of here. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I said, um, it starts off very slow, but goddamn, right? So we need to get out of here. Uh, we need to get out of here. And look, look at this. Everybody's just milling around. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Panic. We're all gonna fucking die. Just get the fuck out of here now. Everybody's, they, they're just too soft. You know, they, they've all gone soft because of this technology. Uh, let's see. I don't know where we want to go. Uh, let's go out here. Continue event. Oh, right, yeah, the parents. We should probably check on them, huh? Oh, no, we gotta go somewhere safe first. Who's this guy? Oh, I guess it's it's just kicking in. Everyone is just now starting to panic. <laughs> hey, look, if I had a floating chair, my ass would never leave that seat, okay? I'm telling you right now. Due to the state of emergency, all transporters have been... Oh, hey, three eyes. ...guests to a special floor. 
where a large transporter waits to take you to the emergency shelter. After the arrival of all guests at the shelter has been confirmed, the transport jammer located in the evacuation facility will be activated. All guests must proceed to the shelter immediately. Okay then, well, uh, emergency transport, let's do it. I guess, fuck mom and dad. I guess they're just gonna die on the beach. Oh hey, look, a save point. Yeah, I know all about save points. I, I've, uh, I've been doing this RPG thing for a while now. So let's see, I go to my card, save. Card two. All right, this is like, this is pretty much where I saved last time. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're good. Okay, let's continue. Hey. Panic level two. Oh, hey, there they are. They made it off the beach. I'm glad you're both here. You guys too, Dad. So how long do you think the parents are going to last? What a relief. I was so worried. What's going on, Dad? Is Aldean attacking? Probably not. From the looks of their weapons, it's most likely... It's most likely... Most likely what? And then something's gonna happen? Never mind. We must get out of here. Nah. Let's go. Just never mind. <laughs> well, again, welcome to Japan. Please wait here. Yeah, everyone is the same age. There's a long line to use a transporter up ahead. You'll have to wait your turn here. I see. We'll wait then. Damn! How'd they get in there? Oh, of course. You knew it. Get going! Keep moving forward! Let's get out of here. Yeah. Here they are! Oh, they're... They're, um... Fishmen? Not the fishmen. Yes. As I suspected. Dad. Run, you two. Uncle Robert. Just get out of here. But get moving now. You have to protect her. That's right. Hurry. Don't worry about us. <laughs> oh, all the sci-fi, it's just, it's colliding. It's all right. We'll be at the evacuation facility soon. Promise, Dad? Promise. Let's go, Sophia. Okay. Well, I'm sure they'll be fine, okay? I'm sure they'll be 100% fine and nothing bad is gonna happen. Ooh, the incapacitator. All right, it's combat time. So combat time for real this time. Try not to die. All right, let me try to back up and do my long shot. Oh, it blocked me. Nice combo. Uh, I, you know, I'm still not entirely sure on their relationship. I'm really not. Like, they called him uncle, but, uh, Fate and, and Sophia are a little bit too close for that sort of thing, so I'm not really sure what's going on. Yeah, there will be no skipping. It just it gives me the option every time. Don't worry. Just stay behind me. Okay. Like 
I'm not gonna skip Dude, plot critical events. There's no end to these. Oh, they got the beep boop. What the heck is that? Oh hey, it's the it's the circus characters that I um I skipped their cutscene because it was really annoying and not relevant. Is that Peter? You came to check out what all the racket was about. We found you guys in trouble. The lady? What do you want, Ursus? Gasp. Man, this is not what we need right now. Ursus, take care of that one. Let's go, you guys. Oh, hey, we get a, a three party member fight, right? Ooh, this will be fun. I'll give it my best shot. Looks like an even match. Okay, so I'm just going to work my, my run in. And uh, and kick combo. Right now, that's the best I've got. <laughs> All right, let's continue. And you gotta watch out for those robo crabs. Alright? You don't you don't wanna get robo crabs, alright? Very difficult to get rid of. Okay, let me back up and go in again. And let's continue. Ah, nice drumstick. Thanks for the help. Get some of that upgrades. <laughs> no problem, Emma. But we should get out of here. There'll be more of those things coming. It's already a complete disaster over that way. Come on. Let's So I guess everyone uh a complete disaster. Hey, but my parents. Second. Yeah, no, your parents are fucking dead. Let's keep going. No, maybe they're alive, who knows. Forget it! Didn't you hear Pepita? It's too dangerous back that way! <laughs> Forget it! See, she's serious. It's like, no, we're gonna take on the whole alien army ourselves. We can do it. Let me go. Let me go. Let's just linger on that. Well, hey, you know, maybe the parents made it, right? Maybe they somehow made it, even though it's an inferno back there. This is an evacuation shelter located underneath Hida 4. Okay, so we're underground right now. Please wait in your assigned rooms until the rescue ship arrives. And you gotta remember that microphone drumstick. Gotta make the next uh, tabletop fun. I don't want to blow people's ears out next time. Ooh, restricted areas. Please refer to the console or ask the nearest official for detailed instructions. All right then. Well, we're going. 
going now. Shall we go? There's nothing left to do here anyway. Well, I guess they're orphans now. Uh, or at least he is, although I don't know. It's Again, I'm not too sure on the relation here. I'm sure your parents are okay. Don't worry. Yeah, I know. Let's go. It's like, yeah, I'm sure they're doing just fine back there. Oh. One second, please. You've been assigned to room 506. Remember that. Okay, 506. Got it. All right, 505. Got it. <laughs> transport will be here soon. Please try to relax and wait. Okay. Okay, so we're uh, we're in the big transporter room now. Uh, I guess we can just kind of go out. So we are now in the evacuation facility. Uh, let me see, can I get like a better map up? Like a bigger map? Hmm. Uh, no. I forget if there's a, an overall. Oh! Man. So, you can't rotate- you can rotate the camera in this game. With the L and R buttons. No, the right stick? No, the right stick doesn't do anything. Uh, okay, that's... there we go. So that's an overall map. Okay. So L and R instead of the right stick. The, I mean, why... the right stick is just useless. It doesn't do anything at all, which... Oh. Again, PS2. It was an odd time. Hey, this is room 502. Hmm. So this is like a sick bay. Oh, are we still injured from that fight? No, we, uh, we've been healed up. That's nice. I guess everyone is in shock. <laughs> Not everyone likes the Japanese voices. And for me, like, I'd, I'd still, like, I wouldn't... I don't know, I don't... Like, I, my Japanese isn't good enough to appreciate all of the, uh, all of the voice acting for that. Like, I'd only be catching very, very few sentences. Alright, but let's see, is that even an option? I wonder. I don't think that's even an option in this game. Yeah, no, there's, um, there's no option. There, there's only English voice acting. There's, there's no, uh, yeah, there's, there's no... Or is there? No. The only option is subtitles. There, there's no option for, uh, English or Japanese. Okay, 501, 502, 505, 505, there we go. So, let's see, this is our room, right? Um, did we just go to sleep? Did we just, like, find a bed and settle in, or... Nope. Oh wait, I tricked myself. It's 506. <laughs> okay, so where's 506? Um, I only saw like it only went to 505. Here we go. 508, 507, 506. Okay. There's some odd numbering there. Hmm. And, I mean, when it comes to me and, like, uh, you know, do I need the authentic voices, I don't... Like, here's the thing, I really don't need the authentic voices, I actually appreciate, um... Like, I appreciate a dub, I really do. Uh, I appreciate a good dub. And, you know, even, even as someone who knows a little bit of the Japano, 
Um, I, I just still, like, I'd rather just go with the dub. And it's mostly because, you know, usually when you're watching something, like if it's a movie, or playing something, you want to focus on the visuals and not reading, you know? You want to focus on the visuals and listen to the, to the voices, rather than staring at the bottom of the screen reading things and not paying attention to what's going on in front of you. Uh, that's my thought on it. So, can we just pick a bed and rest? Or, uh... I don't see an option to rest here. Hmm. Well, this is our room. Um... <laughs> uh. There has to be an option to rest here, right? Like, just to go to sleep. I saved my game, though, so I feel happy about that. But, um... Yeah, no rest option, so let's keep exploring. Uh, there has to be more. Uh, wh what's over here? Hmm. Okay, the only way in and out is the transporters. But yeah, like, again, it's a to-each-their-own situation, like, I... Uh, there's, you know, there's things where I'll appreciate the original language, and then there's ones where I won't. Uh, and also, here's the thing, a lot of dubs, a lot of dubs, they, they don't, like, they don't follow things by the letter. They go their own way and do their own thing with the dialogue. And I'm gonna be honest here, in some cases, the dub is actually, like... It's better than the original in some cases, or it's it's more relatable, you know. Because even like even if you know some Japanese, um, there's just a lot of little um, there's a lot of little phrases and things that you are just not going to understand, even if you understand it, if you get what I'm saying. And there's a lot of English that uh, works that way too, where you know you might understand the words that are being spoken. But you don't, un like, you don't get the context, you know? Hmm, oh, we shouldn't go down there. <laughs> so, let's see, what, what do the people around here have to say? I love this, nobody told them it was gonna happen. I mean, yeah, people generally don't plan for a, uh, for a planetary invasion. I know, it's crazy. So, this room is highlighted, so there has to be something special here. Hmm. So, he's got some rejuvenation symbology. Which is magic in this game. <laughs> so, again, I'm, I'm like, is there something we can do here? Uh... This room was highlighted for some reason. Oh, hey, look, it's a it's a feather folk, uh, the angel people. So some look, somebody stepped on his wing when they were running down there. Well, that's a damn shame. I uh, guess. Wait, no, nothing in the box. I don't, well, again, like the voice acting in this is not great. I'll say that right now, uh, but again, I have more tolerance for it, and the reason I have a tolerance for it is because um, it's the PS2 era, and in the PS2 era, it was really a crapshoot as to whether or not a game would have any voice acting, or if it had voice acting, if it would be half decent or not. So I have a much, you know, I'm, I'm more forgiving when it comes to PS2 and PS1 era games. Like, this was before they really started, uh, you know, getting voice talent for games. And most of the voice acting at this point was just sort of, um, like, who can we get? Uh, what about that guy in the mailroom? He'll do. He can do funny voices, right? <laughs> So yeah, I just, again, I'm more understanding about it. 
Hmm. So there's lots of lots of sick people here. Lots of sick and broken people around here. So apparently no scanners can get to us down here. That's nice. That's quite nice. Uh, can we go in? Yes, we can. Can I use the transporter? No, I cannot use the transporter. What do they have to say? Yeah, I know. I've been assigned. Hmm. Well, I guess let's just go back to our... Well, hold on. What about the other people? Like, uh, there we go. That's what we were trying to find. So, of course, the circus folk, um, it, it is just so very important that we know about the circus folk and what's going on with them. Okay, let's, let's not skip, because they're important now. They're important to the plot. Ah, your parents. They're dead. Very, very dead. It's okay. It's just like he said. Even if I went to help them, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. If only I was a little stronger. I love that. If only I was stronger, I could have I could have blown up all those robots and and punched that spaceship right out of the sky. If only I was stronger. Strength, it's not enough. You can't beat them. He's right. It's not your fault. I bet they were professional soldiers. There's nothing we can do against <laughs> people like that. And you know, just because they didn't make it to this evacuation facility doesn't mean your parents are dead. Well, see, I guess that's another thing. Like, hey, look, they might still be on the surface, right? They might still be alive. You don't know. You know out somewhere don't give up so soon or they might have been captured or something eh oh that's that's not helping Danella? <laughs> it's all right if they've been captured then you can go rescue them anyway you'll just have to wait a little longer what could you possibly do right now? We don't even know what's going on. Yeah, you're right. Why don't you go to your room and rest? Okay, so this is the event trigger that we needed. You're too tired to do anything right now. Well, you could just rest here with us. Uh, no, I'll pass on that. I think I'll pass. Wouldn't you feel safer here? N no, 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 I would not. I, I would definitely not feel safer in a room full of carnies. Think things over anyway. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's go over to five oh six again. And I guess let's uh let's sleep it off, right? Well, that was a nice vacation. Sophia, you okay? Yeah, I think. You're exhausted. You should rest. Yeah. And yeah, the uh, the drawing on the shirt that was the carnies. Um, it was in that one scene that I skipped because it was way too long and didn't really, wasn't really relevant. Uh, yeah, they, they drew on his shirt.
sorry. Don't worry, just rest. Yeah, she just wasn't strong enough. Sleep. I don't want to be alone. Again, are they, are they, are they cousins or not? Because it, this relationship seems a little bit too close, you know, just a bit. Sure, I'll stay. Just relax and go to sleep. Thanks. I'll just stare at you and watch you sleep. Well, I guess she's asleep now, so... Uh... Well, I don't need to save my game again because, well... I just saved a second ago. Okay, this is my bed. Um... So let's go to sleep. Oh, there's an event! Let's do it! So I guess later that night. It's 3:52 a.m. Still so early. Oh, there's another alert. Hey, what's that sound? It sounds like they're going to make an announcement. This is an update for all refugees. Oh, it's so nice. We now know the recent raid on the resort planet Haida was a surprise attack by Vendine. Vendine? Aren't they that military power that's currently at war with Aldian? They did turn down the Federation's offer of aid some time ago, but there were no open hostilities. Oh, they, they're not they're not part of the Federation. Oh, no. They, they're so basically they're they're the equivalent of um what they're the Klingons, I guess. Panic! Fucking panic! We're all gonna die! Refer to the nearest consul or attendant for further instructions. Sophia, we gotta go. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. A little sleep helped calm me down. Hold on just a little longer. We'll be safe once we reach remote station six. So yeah, what do you what do you wanna bet that no, we're not going to be safe once we reach remote station six? So, okay, where where are where are the parents? The present location of the specified individuals is unknown. So presumably they are somewhere on the surface. Um, again, they might still be alive. We don't know. What do you mean unknown? Both Robert Limegod and Ryoko Limegod's positions were lost on Galactic Year Seven Seven Two One Two One Four. One, nine, two, three. Hmm. How exactly do you... Like, how do you... How does that year work? It's very long. Lost? What then? The information system is currently experiencing technical difficulties. Confirmation is not possible at present. What? Oh, no! Okay, well, let's keep going. So we need to prepare for evacuation. Immediate evacuation. To the transporter! Oh, another event.
Welcome to the Federation transport ship GFSS-12372 Hellera. You must have been through a lot. We will soon be departing for remote station 6. The observation bay is located directly through the corridor leading out of this room. Please wait there until we reach our destination. Alright, to the observation bay. Gravitic warp will get us there shortly. Uh, gravitic warp. Uh, you know, not warp drive, that's copyright trademark. So, I guess what just happened is we, um, we just transported out of the underground bunker, and we are now up on a spaceship in orbit. The Federation starship, that is. Oh god, that is, uh, very Star Trek. Oh, hey, look, we can kind of, yeah, we can kind of pan the camera outside uh, and get like a, a little bit of a look at it from the outside. That's neat. And just people playing around in the hallways, huh? So let's take a look at the overall map. All right, it's a it's a straight shot. So let's go. Oh, everybody's watching something. What are they watching? You're right. What is that? Something on the monitor? Let's take a look. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! What's this? It's worse than I thought. This is horrible. But no, look. Maybe, uh, maybe everyone is fine. Okay. Maybe everyone is fine. We are about to enter gravitic warp. Please take the battle pump. Okay, gravitic warp time. I repeat, we are about to enter gravitic warp to escape all evacuees. Prepare for warp. Oh, turbulence. warp turbulence. Uh, see, now they never had to deal with turbulence in, in Star Trek. I guess that's our warp 10, huh? Ah, uh, then the smooth sax ki kicks in. Hmm. Again, too close. Too close. Alright, see you next time, drumstick. Not sure what I'll be doing next time, but I'll be doing something. <laughs> you up sorry no it's all right where do you think we are now i wonder there haven't been any announcements yet we should ask one of the crew yeah Good idea. <laughs> I know, it's such exciting times we live in. Okay, so I guess we've got free range to just kind of wander around the ship now. So, hey, look, we're in warp too, so I, I guess we just slept through the warp, huh? Uh, is there a save? I think there's a little save station right here. I'll go ahead and take it. You know, just in case something goes horribly wrong, I like to be ready. And all right, like I'll I'll stop uh, I'll stop shaming their forbidden ki uh, <laughs> their forbidden cousin love. All right, I'll I'll stop shaming them. But still, like goddamn. Alright, so where can we actually go to? Wait, hold on, let me look at the map. 
There's one door out of here, so let's take that. Hmm. Oh, hey, it's the circus folk. Oh, look, so they looked at Haida just before the ship entered warp. It was all covered in red. But no, maybe everyone is fine, okay? I'm sure everybody's fine, all right? <laughs> hmm. Okay, the room with the creation engine that drives the ship is located below. Oh, we don't want to expose our internal organs to the quadratic key in the engine. And I guess uh, this guy is just not important enough to get spoken dialogue. I love this. It's like it's like what's the big idea letting letting those aliens invade? I paid good money for this vacation, and damn it, I'm getting a vacation. Uh, again, he's just not important enough to even have actual dialogue. So, uh, he's angry. Uh, the crew is like, please sit back down, sir. In summary. Hmm. <laughs> he's gonna try to get him fired. Uh. Oh, hey there. Darn pretentious earthlings. Uh, so can we talk to him? Huh. Okay, so it's a military ship not designed with, uh, with amenities. Okay, but I can wait, I can go this way and potentially I could go this way, but uh but not just yet. So let's go back out into the main area. Hmm. We can't go that way. It's locked. Hmm. Uh, yeah, can't use the transporter while you're in warp, because then, I don't know, space-time continuum, everything goes to shit, all that good stuff. And he'll get him. Hmm. Yep. So, okay. Oh, hey, it's that guy! He still can't believe it. <laughs> Yeah, the Federation military is to blame. Yep, that's that's the way. Uh, what about the circus guy? Yeah, why did it have to come to this? Yeah, we know. Alright, so we can't go into that area. It is off limits. And you know, the fun thing is, we haven't even really gotten to the core of this game yet. Like, the, uh, the core of of Star Ocean is basically it's a it's a first contact story every time uh, we haven't even gotten to that yet <laughs> so okay um, where to now oh look I can observe I can observe all the wavy lines and um, yeah that's neat oh there's the fox girl yeah, the whole planet was covered in flames. Hmm. Anything new over here? No. Yeah, look at that dolphin guy with his surfboard. Look at this. I, okay, look. I, I fucking love this. The dolphin guy with his with his big gulp and his surfboard, he, he's still got him. Like, he will not. Alright, he, he refuses to put those down. Okay, like he is he's gonna be ready 
He is armed and ready to hit the beach at a moment's notice. Hmm. Well, not too sure where else I can go here. Just looking at the map, the overall map. Hmm. Uh, see who's this sitting down? Well, he's exhausted. It really needs a good night's sleep. Okay. Hmm. I uh, can't interact with that. I'm just looking for things to interact with. Ooh, what's this? Nothing. It is nothing. That's what it is. Yeah, I do love... Um, there's a lot of games that do that, you know, that just sort of title people as something. Um, I think, like, another game that kind of did that was uh, Persona. Uh, the Persona games. Like, before you know someone's name... Which, the Persona games, that's another one I might have to do on the stream sometime. But because they take like 5,000 hours, you know, I think um, I'm going to wait on that. <laughs> so let's see, i still got my party all together. There's the room over here, which I can't go into. Uh, let's, let's talk to people. I, I guess at this point, we're just supposed to talk to people. And uh, yeah, everybody is saying the same thing. Which is basically that uh, it was terrible. The whole planet just exploded, basically. Hmm. And there's absolutely nothing I can do over here, huh? Oh, so the effects of that quadratic key on the body are uh, tens of thousands times greater than the energy than that of the energy stone from which it is derived. So basically, if we go near the, the core of the ship, we'll just, like, turn inside out or something like that, is what I'm getting out of that. <laughs> yeah, I, I do it uh, maybe at a certain number of follows, I guess. Because it's one of those games that like, that thing, it, it takes... Like, I love Persona. I, I love Persona 4. I, I like Persona 3. Um, the Persona games are pretty fun. But, again, they're like... They're games that you can sink hundreds of hours into easily. Uh, and, and yeah, like, I got other games I want to play, you know? And this is a long game, too. Like, uh, this game is two discs long, you know? I mean, this, this is a good... Uh, this is a good, like, 100-hour-plus RPG, but still, that's not as long as Persona. Okay, let me talk to this guy down here. I think he's, like, the only one I haven't talked to. So, we're in warp right now, and, uh... I don't know, like, can't really do much. Um... I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, wait, wait. Uh... Did I go over here? Did I talk to this guy? Okay, we can't be sure that we're out of danger just yet. Yeah, he pledges vengeance with his own hands. I'm sure. I'm sure. So I've talked to everyone in this room, right? I, like, I'm 90% sure I've, I've talked to everyone in the room. So this is not the answer. Progress is not here. <laughs> hey, lizard man, it's been a while. It's, it's been a good long while. And it's also been a while since I've busted out the old capture card, too. Let's see if I talked to her yet. Yeah, okay. Nothing over here. Nope. They still won't let me in there, will they? Nope. Won't let me in. I've talked to the big guy. I've talked to the... I've talked to the kids, right? To both of them. I talked to the little one. Yeah, okay. So I've talked to everyone. I've, I have talked to pretty much everyone on the ship, and I don't see what the answer is now. Yeah, he still can't believe it. Huh. 
<laughs> Alright, well, good to see you again. I've been playing lots of games lately. Which, you know, you mi you missed fun times with the, uh, with the Starflight 2 stream that I did. Um, like in the Starflight 2 stream yesterday, um, so basically the stream ended with, uh, somehow I got the ship, I got my ship sent back in time, like a million years, and there was no home base to, like, you know, call for help. And then I, I ran out of fuel, I got stranded on a planet, the Land Rover ran out of fuel, so everyone had to walk back on foot to the ship. And then we, we were just stuck. We were stranded in the past on an alien planet, a mil you know, just a million years in the past. It was great. That was how I, I loved it. I loved ending the game like that. Oh, finally! Goddamn, finally! Navigator, status report. I guess I finally talked to everyone. Yes, Captain. We were cruising at warp 15 on course 231, mark 330, when the gravitic warp field collapsed and the computer detected an anomaly, forcing us to return to conventional space. Computer, what caused the ship's warp field to collapse? There is not enough data to determine the cause. Hmm. All right. Even if you can't determine the cause, how about a theory? Prior to the collapse, sensors detected a space-time disturbance. Our database does not contain any record of such a disturbance, but there is a 77% probability it was the cause of the collapse. Hmm. A space-time disturbance, you say? Space-time disturbance? Come to think of it, Bendini military technology is based on space-time manipulation. Well, of course, right? That is not an established fact, but the Federation Institute of Technology has theorized this is the case. So it was likely a Vendini attack that stopped us then. Screen on. Oh. We're under attack! Damn! Divert all power to shields! Evasion course Divert all power to shields. Uh, uh, invert the deflector dish. <laughs> Fire a particle beam. Launch phase torpedoes. Well, I guess we're dead. This is your captain speaking. Our ship is currently under Look at that dolphin man! He's panicking with his big gulp. Oh no. Our gravitic warp engine has already been disabled. Which means escape is not an option. All power has been diverted to our shields to buy us some time. I wanted you all to know our chances are slim. I had hoped to transport you all the way to remote station six. It seems that is now beyond my power. All evacuees are requested to proceed to the ship's escape pods. Please remain calm. Follow the instructions of the attendant nearest you as you board your pod. Good luck to you all. Good luck and Godspeed. Oh, hey, look. They just zapped right against the side of the ship. No, not a penguin, a dolphin man. A direct hit? Shield down to 47% power. Let's get out Everybody of fucking panic. Look look at that dolphin man. Look at him fucking panicking. The panicking right off screen. Again, I have to emphasize, don't panic. We gotta go, Sophia. Okay. Okay, so yeah, time to panic and get out of here. Uh, let's see, let me look at the map. 
All right, let's get out of here. Nope. Uh, wait, hold on. Okay, let's let's go this way. No time to talk to anyone. Uh, here we go. I think it's over here. Huh. Everyone will get their turn, huh? Okay, uh, again, don't panic, that's nice, um, what about over here? Uh, we came out there, right? So, what's up here? Because I see another door. Ooh, we can go onto the bridge. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, look, I want to go on the bridge. I want to see how fucked we are. Just ignore those civilians standing right there. Oh, look, it's like, what's your blood type? Huh. Uh, uh, I don't know. A for awesome. Huh. Okay, then. Huh. So he has a picture of a girl on the planet Expel. Can you please give her this letter? Wait, never mind. There's no time! Aw, oh, see, I thought I was gonna get a fetch quest there for a minute. Damn. I love it. Is, is it really that bad? It's like, have you not been fucking paying attention for the last 20 minutes? Hmm. Okay, so yet we gotta get to the escape pods. Okay, so yeah, we're carrying uh, yeah, too many passengers, so that means not everyone's gonna get a pod. Well, I guess the dolphin man is fucked. Alright, well, thanks, Captain. Uh, let's see, nothing over here, right? Yeah, it's locked, so... We need to get to those escape pods! Come on. Let's, let's just get out of here. Just get the fuck out. Okay, we can finally escape. Let's do it. So, uh, these are the escape pods, huh? Um... I guess just pick one, huh? Let's do it. Good. The pod's still here. Get in, quick. We're running out of time. Fate. I'm scared. Don't worry. But... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm I'm absolutely sure that the Federation will recover our pods and everything will be fine, and uh, we'll be eating cookies and ice cream by tomorrow. I'll see you at Remote Station Six. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Now get going. I'm sure we're totally gonna make it there. Okay, you'll follow, right? Promise. Promise. Yet yeah, gotta swear to meet up again. And when we meet again, she'll find buttons for her pants. And we'll find buttons for our shirt. So how about that escape pod? Right. 
Okay, so we get a pod. Yay. Better hurry. All the beep boop beep boop. Also, how do we know how to work a shuttle? Activation complete. <clears throat> Ejection in 10 seconds. Like again, how do we know how to operate it? Don't worry about it. Freedom! Again, everyone's gonna do fine, right? <laughs> Distress signal operational. Okay. So I guess, uh... Searching for life -supporting planet. Oh hey, we found a planet. planet found. Yay, we found a life-supporting planet. That's good times. Where? Vanguard 3. Located approximately 0 0.5 light years from present location. Axial tilt of 35 degrees results in extreme seasonal weather. Existence of humanoid life forms confirmed. The Federation has classified Vanguard 3 as an underdeveloped planet, civilization level approximately equivalent to 16th century Earth. Ooh, it's time to violate that prime directive. Would you like to review the underdeveloped planet preservation? Plan? No thanks. Well, okay, okay, look, I guess why not, right? Let's, let's review the Prime Directive, okay? Yes. The Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact was established in order to protect planets with developing civilizations. Contact with civilizations that have not reached a certain level of development is strictly prohibited by Federation law. This is due to the fact that contact with advanced civilizations has a high probability of greatly influencing the course of history on a less developed planet. All individuals and organizations belonging to the Pan-Galactic Federation are required to adhere to the tenets of this pact. And I guess they got these scans from, uh, I don't know, uh, science magic, I, I don't know. This pact is one of the most important components of Pan-Galactic Federation law. It also serves as a guideline for civilian conduct in emergency situations. Violators will be tried by the Pan-Galactic Council. All right then, so the Prime Directive is serious business. Until we get there. At our present speed of warp six, arrival is estimated in 144 hours. Uh, only warp six? Come on, we can do at least 15. Are there any foreseeable problems in getting to Vanguard 3? How's our energy reserves? No foreseeable problems. An adequate supply of energy and food is on board. Okay, I guess I'll get some sleep. Notify me if anything happens. Yeah, let's just hope that they're, uh, you know, it's not a planet full of carnivorous worm people, right? And good job, Lizard Man. You're doing great. Congrats. Golf clap. Entering Vanguard 3's gravitational field. Prepare for entry turbulence. I mean, yeah, look, anyone who hasn't invented the no-button pants, like, they, they're just savages in my eyes.
All right, so uh, I guess this is our new planet now. Here we go. So this is Vanguard Three. Since they haven't contacted me yet, I suppose it'll be a few days before they come rescue me. I better keep an eye out for danger. After all, this is an underdeveloped planet. Yeah, gotta whip out the tricorder. Hmm? My quad scan is picking something up. Moving at 40 clicks. Can't be an animal. I hope it's not dangerous. I should use my replicator to make myself a weapon, just in case. Ooh, look, we gotta... Of course there's replicators, of course! Why wouldn't there be replicators? Let's replicate a weapon. A sword would be a good match for this planet's level of development. And of course, we gotta blend in, so... So no guns, uh, j just a sword. Hey, Soto. It's anime in space. Luckily, I've gotten used to this kind of weapon in the battle simulators. My years of video game training is finally gonna come into play. Not that I feel very lucky right now. I sure hope I don't end up having to use this thing. Oh, we're gonna use that a lot. Sun will be setting soon. I better find some place safer to stay by nightfall. If there is yeah, if there's anywhere safe, because you know it might be full of giant carnivorous worms. There's something there. I'll try expanding the range a bit. <laughs> yeah, I guess you know it might be a little hard to blend in what with that giant crashed spaceship and all, right? <laughs> It's a village. If I start out now, I might be able to make it by now. Okay, a village. We have a goal. I'll go. I know it's a UP3 infringement, but this is an emergency. They'll probably cut me some slack if I keep a low profile. Yeah, of course. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, we obtained a simple sword. So here we are at uh, Pesoto Forest. And there's our crashed ship. So, yeah, we have to make sure it stays hidden. Right. Yeah, hiding it will be pretty tough. Uh, but, oh, we can take care of our wounds here. That's nice. Okay, to, to try as hard as we can to make sure nobody figures out who we are. Uh, let me equip that sword. Uh, I've already got it equipped, so I guess the metal pipe is not necessary at all. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and save my game. And let's make first contact. Let's violate the fuck out of the Prime Directive. Alright, well, uh, I guess let's just go this way. Hmm. Well, we can see a cliff. Uh, the map is kind of filling in as we go now. Um, I guess because we're out of familiar territory. So let's just go exploring. Oh, look at that, it's a... What is it? It's a jelly? Let's attack it. Oh, I got ambushed! Hold on. Alright, hold- I think I could do better than that. Ooh! Bonus! So, wait. Bonus full. Huh. But it's dead, so... 
Ah, uh, well. Man, and look, look at us. Like, we're still, we're still walking around like a tourist. I mean, we, we got these dumb, you know, these dumb shorts and this unbuttoned shirt. I mean, that's gonna blend in great, right? Uh, well, I could fight those things, but uh, they're not really a challenge. Oh, hey, look, it's a humanoid! Oh, it's an unsavory character. Yeah. And yeah, we're not from around here. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so I should go I should go east to Whipple. I guess let's um let's ignore all those guys with knives, right? Uh it's that kind of road. So uh yeah, let's just maybe go the other way. I love it. It's like that, you know, they're inhabitants of an underdeveloped planet with no martial arts training at all. I could probably take them. Yeah, sure you could, kid. Sure you could. Like, I know Kung Fu. All right, so let's go the other way. Let's go east to Whipple. Also, I'm pretty sure that beating up the natives is not a good way to protect the Prime Directive. Oh yeah, of course. Um, Universal Translator and all that, don't you know? Again, it never got in the way in Star Trek. So close on the scanner. It wasn't that far. It wasn't that goddamn far. Hey. What's wrong, mister? You got a belly ache? Also, if everyone on this planet has like really, really big floppy ears, um, we need like some we need some prosthetics we need some big floppy rubber ears to put on we're not blending in oh hey dream sequence guys That's not how it happened. No. Uh. So after that dream sequence. Also, it's so rare to see a character under a bed sheet in a video game. Well, we haven't really met anyone just yet. I mean, we met some bandits in the woods, but um, I guess they were trying to be undercover, too. Alright, later, lizard man. Thanks for showing up.
<laughs> yeah, he doesn't look that alien, but I mean, his ears, they're, they're so round. Well, why aren't they floppy? Well, I, I don't think they're lowly elves, um, <clears throat> I think they're just kids. And also elves. I am Nicholas. Her name is Mina. Fate. You said fate, right? Oh, and your ears. Are you one of Norton's men? Norton? D does he sell antivirus software? Yes. I don't really understand the situation here. You don't know Norton? And no, I'm not using an emulator, Soto. I, I'm using... What I'm using is my backwards compatible PS3. So my PS3 is technically emulating a PS2 game. But I have the actual PS2 disc and an, an actual console that I'm playing on. So at least they did, um, they did acknowledge the ear thing. Don't worry. It is our way to help each other in times of trouble. They are a simple people. They, it is their way. Sorry. Thanks. It is no problem. Mina, let him get his rest. He's so young. He seems so mature for his age. Well, yeah, so like they did say like are you one of Norton's men because you know our ears are round so maybe we're not the first earthlings on the planet maybe Maybe it has something to do with those bandits maybe And there's the uh, there's the in music Yeah, I guess we'll be here a while. Time to, time to find ourselves a uh, an elf wife. I guess. All right. So we're back in the gameplay. So we can look around a little bit. And again, we're kind of, you know, we're very out of place still, like our clothing. I mean, like, just look at our clothing. We look, we look like we'd be out of place literally anywhere. So wait, gotta talk to the NPCs. All right, they want us to take it easy. Uh, but what about, you know, what about Nicholas? Can I, can I get over to him? I can't get to him actually. Uh, I actually can't get to him. He's. Uh, 
Okay, I guess we just go outside. So, okay, this is the town of Whipple. Well, let's look around. Hmm. Can we interact with this? Oh, I guess we can read the writing, too. Oh, there are some commandments on the board. Fools who do not submit to them will be destroyed by my own hand. So, Norton's new commandments. Uh, number one, thou shalt never break my commandments. Number two, thou shalt bring me food and drink each month. Number three, he who discovers a mass of metal never seen before shall report it to me immediately. Gee, I wonder if Norton is, is a human breaking the Prime Directive. I wonder. Number four, number five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> number 27, thou shalt, thou shalt not breathe without my permission. Number 28, thou shalt not send radio waves my way. Radio waves, okay. Number 29. Thou shalt not make eye contact with me. <laughs> so yeah, I, I guess, um, again, I, I guess the Prime Directive is already being broken on this planet. Ooh, treasure. Got some blackberries. So, you know, that's like, okay, like in Star Trek, that's one of my favorite things, you know, other than the Mirror Universe episodes. Uh, my other favorite episodes are the, you know, the Prime Directive related episodes. Uh, just, I love it. I love all the, the fucking around with the Prime Directive. Uh, let's see, this house is green. Now, why is it green? Oh, it's a shop, right? What can I buy in the shop? The Many Bloom General Store. Hmm. Ooh, what can I buy? So I can buy blueberries and blackberries, ring mail. I can buy a clone generator. I, I can buy a fucking clone generator. Oh, it's a so it's a strange doll that somehow resurrects its owner at time of incapacitation. Well, that would be useful, wouldn't it? Hmm. I'd like a suit of ring mail, but I uh, can't really... I really afford that just yet. In time, in time. All right. Well, where else can we go? Hmm. Guess I could leave the village, but well, not without my sword. Oh, I saw another treasure chest. Oh, hey, our future elf wife. Hmm, oh, it's not even her house. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, man. Just like the, the universe, you know, universal translator, universal money translator. I don't know. We replicated money. So, yeah, whose house is this? Hmm. So it's no one's house now. Hmm. Oh, we're, uh, yeah, we're that traveler. Oh, people are already saying ill things about me. Hmm, so they're really quite gentle folk. Okay, well, not a whole lot of reason for us to be here then. Just a tiny house. So I saw a treasure chest, like, right over here. Yeah. Ooh, I got 600 full. Uh, that will be enough. And that'll, that'll be enough. And full... Um, full is basically the currency of every Star Ocean game, like, no matter what time it takes place in. 
Okay, let's buy us some good armor. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy some ring mill. So one ring mill, and um, I guess that's all I can really buy right now. So okay, one ring mill, and let's equip it. Ooh, some more defense and agility too. Okay, I don't have any accessories. All right, well, let's keep exploring. So it's another private home. Oh, I see treasure. So a lisping girl. I love it. This, yeah, Mama said, never let strangers in the house. You better leave right now. No, not till I get your loot. Got some blueberries. Again, like, we're just blending in just awesome, aren't we? Just going into everyone's house and, uh, you know, stealing everything that isn't bolted down. Hmm. So, people here seem to be suspicious of us. Yeah, what strange clothes you are wearing. Yeah, it's about time someone noticed that. Oh, now that they think of it, that other man was dressed very strangely, too. Huh. Well, I guess, you know, the, uh, I guess the computer scanner wasn't exactly, uh, I guess it wasn't 100% accurate, you know? Oh, look, if you're well enough to walk, won't you hurry up and leave our village? Yet yeah, strangers bring nothing but trouble. So yeah, they, they don't seem to like strangers too much. <laughs> yes, a very easily exploitable people. I guess as Norton has already found out. Oh, hey, a save point. Oh, loot. See, I can just walk right into their house and take everything. It's great. So, okay, this is the village chief. So recently, a sinister stranger settled to the west of our village. Our lord refuses to send soldiers to such a remote village as ours. Perhaps the stranger knows this. We have constantly been at his mercy. That is why the people here are so wary of strangers. I am, so I am sorry that they are treating you so brusquely, but you must understand our situation. So I guess we're going to be dealing with the problem, right? Let me save again. Oh, me and my compulsive saving. All right, well, let's keep looking around. Uh, wait, was that something over there? No. Okay, there's uh, two more houses to check out, so let's get on that. I don't think this is the one I came out of. Oh, event! There is an event. What's that? Ooh, a treasure box. Hmm, so are we gonna fix it? Are we- are we gonna fix it? Are we gonna, like, replicate some parts to fix it? The gearbox is broken. But I bet I could fix this. If I can get back to my pod, Yeah, I fucking knew it. So we're gonna go back to our pod and replicate some parts. Yeah, again, I'm sure it's all cool. I I'm sure Starfleet Command will understand. You know, while we're at it, why don't we just declare ourselves their new god, right? Can you really do that? It is an 
See, next thing you know, every, everybody's gonna be, uh, you know, trying to sacrifice people to the Picard. <laughs> yeah, I, I do like the Star Ocean games. It's all about, um, like, it's all about the first contact and, and pretty much uh, this mix of uh, sword and sorcery with, um, you know, the main character being, uh, you know, from space. Although in the new one, uh, the newest one actually plays it different from that. In the newest one, uh, you're the primitive, and, uh, you know, and, and, like, what the fuck are these aliens doing here? Hmm, they don't believe we're not with Norton. So how about that sword? Yay, I got my sword back. It's auto-equipped, right? Yes. Good. Okay, so we need to get back to our pod. So, I guess I'm gonna do that. Alright, just gotta make my way back the way I came. Hmm. Oh, mind the jelly. Mind the jelly. Or a, a slime, I guess. If it was Dragon Quest, it would be a slime. Now, since I didn't go very, uh, like, I didn't do much exploring, right? Uh, because of that, I have a nice easy shot back to the, back to the pod. Okay. And here we go, we're right back at the pod. So let's synthesize that part. Ooh, what? Oh, the pod's been busted up. Parts and equipment have been stripped. Ah, uh, so somebody, uh, <clears throat> somebody stripped our pod. There's no way the inhabitants of this planet know what this stuff is. It makes sense if they just smashed it up. Well, I guess there will be no, uh, no parts, huh? Well, time to go back to the village. Time to just turn around and go back the way we came. Well, let me just save my game again first. Compulsive saving and all that. Alright, so, uh, you know, I guess we should maybe get in a few fights along the way. Uh, just, you know, to get some EXP. You know, oh, look, bonus, double full. That's nice. Oh, I missed my combo. Yeah, we promised to fix it, but I guess uh, that ain't gonna be happening, huh?
And they're not lolis, darn it. They're just they're just kids. Just regular plain old kids. That's what they're called, just kids. I don't know. These these slimes don't really seem to do much for me. Uh, although, I wonder what's out in the in the bushes here. Any any loots out in the bushes? I should I should really try to explore some. You know, it, it, such is the nature of uh, of the game. Lots of dead ends. Maybe later, huh? So let's go back to the village. And I guess it's time to deliver the bad news. there. What a relief! You are well! Norton's gang was lurking around the forest in the direction you left him. We were worried. Nicholas, could you please tell me more about Norton and his gang? Yeah, I think we need to investigate this situation. Who are they? I do not know everything myself. Norton appeared suddenly in our village about half a year past. Hmm, so they've been here a few months. He ordered the village to supply him with food. Of course, we refused at first. The village needs its supplies to survive the harsh winter. Norton was in fact ordering the village to die. But when people refused him, he called upon this mysterious light, and those it touched disappeared, one after the other. Oh, he's got a phaser! Or a transporter beam, I guess. And our father, who resisted until the very end. Of course, we told our lord, but he said the idea of people disappearing into thin air was nonsense and didn't want to hear about it. Now some of the villagers have even joined Norton's gang. A mysterious light that makes people disappear? My fancy, uh, my fancy space shirt that doesn't button up. And his ears were shaped like his. That is why I did not trust you at first. I ah, so he's a round ear too. Don't worry about it. Hmm. It would explain the light, the clothes, and the ears. And it would explain why someone would steal pop tarts that nobody. Something the matter? It's nothing. I was just thinking. But thinking isn't the way to help anything. He may be dangerous, but I'd better go meet this Norton guy. He might even find a way off this planet. Alright, time to confront Norton. I'm really sorry, but it's going to take me a little more time to fix your music box. Yeah, good song indeed. Can you wait just a little longer? Good generic sad times music. Okay. That thing Norton's gang carried off, did it belong to you? No. I thought it might be, but it wasn't. Don't worry. I'll fix your music box. Yeah, we gotta keep that promise. Nicholas, I'm hungry. Let's eat. Ah, yes. Very well, let us eat. Uh, and that's the rest and relaxation theme. Okay, so I guess it's time to... Oh! I guess it's time to have an event. Okay, so where's Nicholas? 
Oh, did he go after Norton? So he was already gone, huh? Okay, so apparently I, I'm gonna guess that Nicholas went and uh, he's gonna try to go deal with Norton, huh? Also, wait, there's one more house in the village. I didn't check this house. Just an old man. Hmm. Alright, well, let's go out there and let's stop Norton and his gang. Before we do that, though, um, maybe, let, let me check my skills. Uh, I don't think I have any, yeah, I don't have any battle skills yet. Uh, eventually you'll start unlocking skills that you can use. Uh, I don't have any of those yet. Okay, Norton's gang, they're gone. Oh! Oh! It's time for a dungeon! Oh yes it is! So yeah, this is the dungeon theme. So let me just look around, see if I can find any loots. Nope. There we go. So I'm finding lots of berries. Uh, hold on, I don't want to leave the area just yet. So here's one of the things this game is known for, okay? This game is known for having a whole lot of dungeons, like really long dungeons. And I'm perfectly okay with that, actually. So, okay, you might have found, uh, you might have noticed that we found some cooking ingredients. The cooking ingredients are for the invention system, which we have not actually gotten to yet. The invention system allows you to, uh, basically you can use some of the characters that you find to invent things. You know, like, just sort of, you know, you can invent weapons, armor, items, uh, things in general. But we haven't gotten to that yet. Hmm. No monsters here yet. Oh, there they are. There's the monsters. Bandits. <laughs> I love the enemies in this game. That's some combo right there. Alright, not a single point of damage taken. So, as long as I'm careful and I combo, we're good for now. Hmm, there's a five on the wall there. So I'm just gonna start getting in fights because, well... Wanna level up. I love this guy. Like, look at... <laughs> uh. Yeah, I, I think I might just be beating up senior citizens at this point. Oh, uh, there's some... No, I can't go that way. Damn. Hmm, which way do I want to go? Ooh, now that's a monster right there. Yeah, let's fight that. Oh, hold on, hold on. Gotta be careful. Alright, my little three-hit combo seems to work out for me pretty well. I can't wait till I get some battle skills. Oh, we got a skill! We got our very first skill. So, uh, we got Blade of Fury. So, let's go ahead and equip that. Okay, so let me go into my skill setup. And, um... Okay, so it is a light speed sword. Hold the attack button down to initiate. Uh, repeatedly tap the attack button after initiation to increase the number of attacks. Okay. 
So I guess we'll set that to our uh, close range attack. Okay, we got our first skill. Let's try to make good use of it. Hmm. Again, the dungeons in this game tend to be fairly large. Okay. Oh, let's try this. Let's try it. Hold on. There we go. Oh, he blocked it. He blocked my skill. He totally blocked my skill. Hmm. I feel like there should be something over here. Yeah, look, he's guarding something. There we go. It's not all that great. Not that great of a skill. I think I'll just stick to basic attacks for now. Okay, got some more blackberries. That's nice. Oh, there's a bunch of loot. Aqua berries. Oh, can I get both of them at the same time? I was hoping I could maybe air juggle both of them a little bit. Okay, so when the bar goes all flashing... Oh, it ran away. Um, it actually ran away from me. Yeah, so when their bar is flashing, that means they're guarding. So, yeah, I can't hit them when that's happening. Hmm... Okay, let's try to keep going forward, though. Let's not waste too much time here. Although I do... I, I do love grinding, and I do love, uh... You know, leveling up and all that. I do love plundering the depths of a dungeon, getting all the secrets, but uh, let's try to keep things moving at a good pace. Hmm. I'm just gonna guess that north is progress. I, I don't know, but I'm gonna guess. Oh, I see a treasure chest. Look, if I see it, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, more cooking ingredients, so that's for cooking food. Again, the invention system that we haven't gotten to yet. We'll get to it eventually. My battle gauge got broken. Okay, let's let's not get our gauge broken this time. Yeah, he's having fun. He's loving it. Okay. Let's keep going. I'm not gonna fight everything, okay? Wait, is there just nothing over here? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Fresh Sage. Hmm. So, I thought for sure this was the path to progress, but I was wrong. Uh, let's try going around the other way. Maybe this is the way forward. Oh, look at that guy! It's, it's Benjamin Franklin! Quick, get him! Like, that's all I can think of when I see that guy, is it's like, oh, hey, look, it's Ben... it's Brent Franklin. <laughs> now, what I really appreciate with Star Ocean, I really appreciate that, um... You can see the enemies on the map, it's... which is a lot like, you know, games like Chrono... Uh, you know, Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, things like that. Uh, I appreciate being able to see the enemies on the map and it's not just like you get into a random encounter, you know? Hmm. Oh, I think we're getting close to the... Oh yeah, I think we're getting close here. So yeah, this building, I, I do believe that's where we have to go. But I just want to go around the side 
and see oh look at that there's an event who are you kid what do you want this is Lord Norton's turf so beat it or else oh the, those sure are some uh, some anime tough guys right there I don't want to fight you guys I just want to know if you've seen a little boy around here a little boy You mean Nicholas? Yeah, he came around here blabbering about getting something back and wanting to see Lord Norton. Then what did he do? Being the kind-hearted fellas we are, we gave the stupid kid what he wanted. I bet Lord Norton's re-educating the undisciplined little brat right now. Mm, Uh-oh. What? It's the kid's own fault. Nothing good can come from messing with Lord Norton. Don't worry. He'll learn it's better to join us than fight us. It's a shame. The apple don't fall far from the tree. Idiocy must run in the family. Rotten little... Whoa there. Didn't I just say you can't pass through here? Wanna see that brat? You gotta beat us first. Well, I guess it's time to beat their asses. What gives you the right? Looks like we got another village idiot in need of some education. Oh, we got a fight here. So let's try not to die. Air juggle. Man, I, I love any game that, that allows you to air juggle. I, I just I love that. That was easy. And that really was easy. So I learned a new skill called aerial and uh, and first aid scan and me. Oh, I learned a lot of things. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> All right then, so I guess that's it. Nicholas is locked up somewhere in here. I better hurry up and find him. Oh, but look, there's a treasure chest over there, and I really want to get it. So, uh, while that is the entrance to the dungeon, I would really like to. Uh, yeah, I'd like to get in here and get some loot. Man, I can even see inside the dungeon. Like, th there's no there's no ceiling. Look, I can see right inside. Oh, I ran right into him. Oh, he blocked me. Uh, it's it's more satisfying than it should be uh, to kill those things. Way too satisfying. All right. Yeah, they weren't so tough after all. Let's go in the dungeon. So here's Norton's hideout. Is that a skeleton? Is well, now you know it's October month. Oh. Okay, let's be a little more careful. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a little more challenging than what I'm used to. Alright, I have to watch my ass in here. Hmm. And more fresh sage. Now, I'm really glad I bought the ring mail before I went in here. Uh, I could have gone in here with no armor. Oh, a jewel of refuge. Hold on. Is that, uh, is that an accessory? No, it is not. What is it? 
Jewel of Refuge. Uh, stops enemy movement for a short time. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's see. And and again, like I said, this game is rather uh, it's rather known for having long dungeons. The Star Ocean game, the Star Ocean games, they all have very very long dungeons. You know, that's how you get those hundred plus hours. So, okay. I did learn some new skills, so let's go ahead and let's equip them. So I have Blade of Fury, and then I have Aerial. So it's an anti-air attack, short range only. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Now wait, what's the damage? Okay, oh, so if you look, some of these attacks, they actually have, uh, not an MP cost, but an HP cost. It, it costs HP to use physical attack skills. So, you gotta be careful about that. Alright, let's set it to a long attack. And then let's set that to a short attack. And I feel happy with that. Um, let me go ahead and let's use an item. Uh, let's see, I don't see, I don't have any food yet. Just usable items. So, blueberries. There we go. And it's always 30%, which is nice. Like, see, I like that. I like healing items that operate on a percentage. Um, th that way they're never obsolete. You know, not completely anyway. Hmm. There's some big doors right here. The doors are locked. Much too strong to break down. Okay. Ooh! Ooh! Hmm. So, yeah, we never could have guessed, could we? So, I guess this is Norton's lair. Uh, let me save my game. Alright. So, what, what, what was he doing? He's got, like, all kinds of computer stuff set up in this room. Uh, can we take a look at it? Like, is Fate smart enough to understand what any of this is? Oh, it's a screen for entering a password. It's asking for a two-digit pa uh, two password. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, I guess read the instructions? Hmm. Huh. Okay. Uh, so, if you remember, there was totally a 5 and a 2. And there was like a 5, a 2, and I, I don't remember the last one. I don't remember the last number, so I'm just, I don't know, like maybe 5, 2, 5, 2, 3? Cancel. Uh, let's give up. Yeah, I don't I don't know the numbers, but like basically the numbers are on the outside of the ruins. And I don't I don't really know like I'd have to go back and look at the ruins. So Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Although wait, there's no way forward, is there? So okay, we have to find it out. We have to we have to find the numbers. So let's get to it. Okay? Yeah, let's get back out there and let's find that that third number. So there was five and there was a two. Um, let's see if we can find the last number. Oh wait, six. So five, two, and six. Okay, it was right there. Awesome. So okay, five, two, six. Um, I don't know the order though. That's that's kind of the thing. Um, don't know what order that is in. So I guess we should really save then, right? So
so, okay, we have a 5, we have a 2, and a 6. Um, I guess we just have to try to get lucky, right? Because we don't know what order they're in. Okay, that was wrong. Uh, 5, 2, 6. How about... Um, uh, a six, five, two. That's wrong. Uh, how about two, five, six? Oh, it was right. I got it right. Okay, so a door opened. Uh, so the password was two, five, six. Nice. Ooh, I think it's time for a boss encounter. Oh, okay? he's not doing so great. Wait, why are you here? That's what I want to ask you. You should never have run off like that. The music box parts. I wanted to get them back. Was it really that important? I... I could not ask you to do this for us. But that's crazy. Yes, it is. It is dangerous here. You... must leave. Quickly. He'll... get you. Nicholas? Hang in there, Nicholas. This is bad. I better hurry. So yeah, we, we need to confront Norton. Think. Oh yeah. I could short the battery in my communicator. Mm. Hmm. Wait. I might be stuck here if I lose my communicator. Hmm. A decision to make, huh? What am I thinking? There's no time. Yeah, there's no time. I'll get you out. So yeah, I guess there goes our communicator, huh? Man, a lot of power in those things. Hang in there, Nicholas. Also, I guess we are fucked here then, huh? He doesn't seem too badly hurt. That's a relief. Huh? Oh. <laughs> we can't understand him now. Because we don't have our communicator. Yeah, so our tran our our, uh, our handy universal translator was built into the communicator. So yeah, we can't understand them now. So hey, that answers one of your questions. It's like, wait, why does everyone speak English? Well, there you go. No time for regrets now. We better get out of here. Let's go. Oh, that's a gun. No funny moves if you want to stay alive. Play nice and I'll let you live a little longer. I want to phase gun, so you must be Norton. And not phaser. Phase gun. Yeah, that's me. I am Norton the Great. <laughs> Looking like a supervillain. <laughs> it's so nice to hear genuine turn being spoken, huh? Seems like ages. And and is he? Does he have fangs? Is is he a vampire? Why are you here? You're not from this planet, are you? I'm from Razor, boy. We're not part of. 
Oh, so he's you no, know, he's not human. He's he's an alien too. But um, I guess they know about the Federation. You mean that planet that likes to have fun? <laughs> Not much to tell. I uh, was involved in this uh, unfortunate accident. Guess it was a bit much even for Razor. So I was sentenced to spend the rest of my days in exile on a deserted planet. But the escort ship they were transporting me on had engine trouble and ended up crash landing here. Can you believe it? All I had to do was mess with their engine code. So he's a, a space criminal. Those stupid pilots ended up frying their engines. Oh man! All I was trying to do was create a distraction so I could make my escape. But we ended up crashing and this planet's become my prison. And the others, Norton? Uh, that's Lord Norton to you. He's gone mad with power. <laughs> what happened to the other people on the escort ship? Oh, those guys, they're dead, the poor fools. They were trying to send out a distress signal, and a bolt of lightning smote them where they stood. Bam! <laughs> that crash part was unfortunate. But no use crying over spilt milk. I've been devoting myself to making this planet my kingdom. Yeah, he's the the new god on this planet. You get my drift. So that's why you've been raiding Whipple. Yeah, something like that. You're a smart kid. That's why I was raiding the village, and that's why you gotta die. So. You'll be happy to know I'm going to make the most of those parts I stripped from your escape pod. It's guys like you. Ooh. Huh? What? Ah, uh, there you are. Oh, what what is this now? A third a third challenger approaches. I thought I lost you when your distress signal went out. I'd never have found you if it weren't for those explosions. What do you want? You're not one of them Federation guys, are you? Who, me? A Federation soldier? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Well, then who are you? Cliff Fitter, a Clausian and member of Quark. Oh, not the Quark. <laughs> a Clausian? Sorry, no time to explain. I'm kind of in a hurry. Just let me have fate, that earthling boy over there, and I'll be on my way. I don't plan on butting into whatever you got going on over here. How do you know my name? Let's not sweat the details. Suffice it to say, you're my man. Hold it right so, there, time to time to have us a brawl, right? Talking to me? <laughs> you think you could fool me? There's no way a Clausian would come here. You're probably some sort of spy. It's so obvious. <laughs> Look, since I'm such a nice guy, I'm gonna fill you in on a little secret. That gun you have there has no effect on us Clausians. You didn't know that? Shut your pie hole! They're just too fast. They've got they've got matrix bullet time. All right. I'm done lecturing. Time to teach you a lesson. All right, yeah, it's fight time. So, yeah. Time to time to have us a boss fight. Wait. Oh. Yeah, that gun works on me. Works on me nice and good. Hold on, hold on. I got some special attacks here. Oh, I like that. 
Let's try to use a. Uh, let's try to use the long range one. Oh. Hey, long range. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, all the tropes indeed, I know, I know. But I still love it, okay? So yeah, that was a really easy fight. I was expecting more. Let's continue. Well, so much for that guy. But I did try to warn him. I've heard the physical abilities of Krausians far outstrip those of Earthlings, but man... They're like superheroes. And he said Quark. Wasn't that an anti-federation group? Looks like I overdid it. Should have held back a little bit. Well, this is about the only thing that still works. The rest is ruined. Here. Let me guess, a new translator. Yeah. Is this a communicator? Can't live without one. I can't figure out why you wouldn't have one with you. Uh, um, thanks for getting me out of that mess. So that, uh, saved my life. that solves our universal translation problem that we just created for ourselves five minutes ago. <laughs> Whoa there. Don't go thanking me yet. You see... I've come to abduct you. What? Now, don't get all worked up. I'm not gonna hurt anybody. It's just... My boss wants to meet you. That's why I came all the way out here to find you. Boss? You mean Quark's boss? That's right. Our leader wants to see you. But you've sure made it a tough job. First, I went to Hyda and ran into that mess, thanks to you. Then, I get here and find you poking your nose into matters better left alone. We're just having fun violating the Prime Directive. It was my fault Hyda got attacked. Jeez. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. Just kidding. Don't sweat it. At any rate, I got you now. And I did rescue you, so no complaining. And besides, you want to see your old man, don't you? He's been captured by the Vendini. Dad? But why? So he is alive. Yay. Hey, don't ask me. All I know is your old man was abducted from the evacuation facility on Haida. What about my mother? And Sophia? Well, we know your mom's safe. She should have already arrived at remote station number six. I don't know about the girl. I've had my hands full just trying to track down your escape pod. How do you know all this? Not much else. Sorry. Oh yeah, I do know what your old man Dr. Line God was researching. <laughs> well, kind of. Um, kind of tinfoil, but uh, that's not going to be for a very long time. I will say, like, the there is, like, a big reveal. There's a there's a moment, like, when the first disc of this game ends, there's a moment that's both pretty awesome and also, yeah, kind of tropey. But anyway, let's continue. Right. Symbological genetics. And 19 years ago... Ah, uh, never mind. That doesn't matter right now. <sighs> Come on. You don't have any other way off this planet, do you? Look, I'm sure things will clear up if you just come with me. Besides, you'll be able to see your old man again. But according to you, my father's been captured by Vendini. So how could I possibly see him? Simple. Quark will go rescue your old man, too. Why would an anti-Federation group want to help my father? Well, tell you what, it's kind of complicated. 
Let's not get into that. So, yeah, we're going to get off this planet. This, um, like, I, I bet you thought, I, I bet you thought that this was going to be the game, right? That, that, uh, this planet was going to be the whole, no, this planet is just a diversion on the way to, uh, to other things. So, are you coming or not? But we are going to be on other primitive planets. We're just going to be violating the Prime Directive all over the galaxy. Okay. I'll go with you. But could we stop by Ripple first? I want to make sure the boy gets back there safely. Sure. Whatever. But I still think you shouldn't have gotten involved. All right, then. So, yeah, we're going to stop back by the village because remember the music box. All right, and I guess we're going to leave him for the people of this planet to uh, to have their way with. Good times. Uh, let's see, can we... I don't think we can go in those rooms. They're just for show. Yeah, that's all just for show. Uh, wait, can't go over there, can we? No. Uh, See, look, I gotta explore every little corner because I feel like there might just be something, you know? Ah, well. Let's keep moving. So, back to Whipple. Hmm. I promise. I won't let your efforts go to waste. You done? Okay, I'm gonna blow the place. Oh, yeah, right. Because we can't leave, uh... We can't leave all this advanced alien technology here. So we got the music box parts. Yay. That's a that's a really nice item get sound, too. Alright, let's get out of here. Man, finicky. So, uh, yeah, explosion. That takes care of that. There. Everything's back to normal, huh? You're wrong. Things aren't back to normal. Nicholas and Mina's parents are gone forever. Well, way to be a downer. Man, fate just being a downer all over the place. Well, let's go back to town and uh, let's deliver that music box. Oop. So yeah, I guess we're done here in this dungeon. I don't, I don't think I explored all of it, but, um, but yeah, I, th I think we explored enough, more than enough, really. Uh, let's see. Hold on this way and out this way. There we go. Oh, he is. He is a douche. It's great. Okay, I think, yeah, this is the way out. All right, so let's deliver that uh, that music box, and then I think we're done on this planet. Like, I, I think we're good. Finish up quick and get back here. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Don't keep me waiting too long, kid. Got it. The village is saved! But they are still orphans. Can't solve that problem. Really? There. 
and now the people can get back to their usual dirt farming ways. All right, so yeah, uh, we're pretty much done here on this planet. Um, again, it was fun times. We we violated the Prime Directive and everything. Just, I mean, we just made a mockery of it. So let's go back to Cliff. I don't think there's anything else we have to... And we could talk to people again. They'd have other things to say. But, uh, no, we, we did good. Save the day. Okay, so the cliff near the escape pod. Okay. And also, yay, new party member. So let's work our way back to the cliff. And I'm sure there's other things to explore in the forest. Uh, it's a pretty big forest, actually. But uh, no, no, we're, we're good here for now. We're just going to go back to the back to the shuttle. Don't want to hit the jelly. I'm just staring at that map. Okay, our shuttle is like right over here. Uh, let me save the game again. So yeah, we got Cliff. He's in the party for good now. And so let's make our way, I don't know. Where's that cliff gonna be? Like right there, right? Yeah. So how do we get off this rock? Hey, it's me. We're at the location. Transport us up as soon as you can. Huh? Oh, no problem, I got him. I said it's okay, I haven't done anything. Yeah, I know. Now hurry up and get us out of here. My ship will be here soon. Once we're ready, it's good riddance to this hunk of rock. My ship's not so big, but it's packing a gravitic warp engine. It's quite the speed demon. Hey, Cliff. <laughs> yeah? There's something I've been meaning to ask you. What's that? Why does Quark's leader want to meet with me? I'm just a college student from Earth. But you're the chosen well, I mean, no, nothing. No comment. <laughs> That's, uh, not doing it for you, is it? No, it's not. Let's see. Well, I guess the biggest reason would be our leader wants to chat with you? Nice try, but that's avoiding the question. Why's your leader want to meet with me? Hey, how should I know? I just do what I'm told. This is probably something our leader wants to talk to you about. And that something is? Well, you'll just have to come with me and find out for yourself. Sorry, kid, but I, I don't know much more than that. Yeah, he doesn't know much about a lot of things. Oh, hey, there's our lift. Again, I just hope nobody sees that ship, huh? So yeah, we're done here.
and the smooth, smooth jazz kicks in again. So, so I guess, yeah, our ship doesn't have any cloaking or anything, right? So, uh, yeah, fuck the Prime Directive. Well, let's get a move on. You'll be expecting us. The rendezvous point is Beta 747372406. You got that, Mirage? Roger. Engaging conventional engine, gravitic warp core, normal. So we're back in space again. Hmm. Welcome back. Sorry to keep you waiting. This is my navigator and partner in crime. I leave the day-to-day -day operation of the ship to her. Mirage, this is our target. Yes, I knew right away. Nice to meet you, Fate. I'm Mirage Coast. N nice to meet you, too. The forehead! She's beautiful. <laughs> Fate, you okay? <laughs> He's just staring. He's busy staring. Wait a sec. Who said I was falling for anyone? Relax. I was just warning you. I was wondering, just how long will it take till we get to your leader? Oh, uh, we'll be there soon. It's about three hours. Hmm, wonder if anything will happen in those three hours. Mirage, I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm leaving you in charge. Oh. It looks like you can forget that shower. Yep. Huh? What is it? I've just detected a gravitic space anomaly up ahead. I'm bringing us out of gravitic space to avoid it. Hmm. Some anomaly in space time? Two Vendini battleships detected 400,000 kilometers ahead. An ambush, huh? Man. It's bad enough having to worry about Federation ships. Open up a comm link. Hold on. Connection confirmed. Okay, the link's open. Uh... <clears throat> this is the Eagle, a Clausian ship. We don't want any trouble with you. You're wasting your time. The enemy ships are already prepared to... Well, I guess they're not friendly. To anyone. Escapes our only hope. It'll be tough without using gravitic warp, but we've got no choice. Reverse course. Conventional engines full power. Roger. Full power to rear shield. And let me see a chart for this region. All right. Course 116, mark 267. Yep. Just head for that nearest primitive planet. Activate auto evasion program. Fasten crew safety harnesses. Roger. Course entry complete. Speed maximum. Program activated. Hey, feeling lucky, kid? Ah. Oh no, everything's shaking. That means it's, that's, that's how you know it's uh, got the Star Trek shake going on. Quick, everyone wobble about.
Get us on a straight line between the ships and that planet. Then pop us up star side. We'll open up the distance that way. Very well. But we won't be able to get to our warp destination. Well, we're toast if we stay here, Mirage. Anyhow, space is big, right? Our odds ain't that bad. <laughs> yeah, let's just warp anywhere. Lunch? Just anywhere. Space battles. So I guess we made it. Yay. Warp 15. We've thrown off the Bendini ships. Phew. That was close. Yes, but now we're pretty far from the rendezvous point. Well, it can't be helped. Besides, it won't hurt to make her wait a little longer. Let's take our time. Wow, your hunch really paid off. Finally, some respect. Yeah, a healthy respect for your recklessness. What is that supposed to mean? A little more honesty would be nice. So if you haven't figured it already, like, Cliff is basically our Han Solo for this mission. <laughs> like, hey, that Cliff sure is something. Or... You're a genius, Cliff. Sorry to interrupt while you're having so much fun. What is it, Mirage? The gravitic warp core is overheating. We should reduce speed immediately. The engine will scramble. Quickly increase the techno babble. What? Didn't I specifically request that you tell me these things sooner? Get back to conventional space, pronto. Roger. Bad news. Now what? Both the conventional and gravitic warp engines have scrammed. The backup engine isn't functioning either. In summary, we're fucked. I'd say we have a problem. Damn it. Where are we now? We're currently within Elecor 2's gravitational field. If all our energy sources are shot, then we can't communicate either. Well, I'm sure she'll figure out something happened to us after we don't show up when we're supposed to. <laughs> One would hope so. Well, Mirage, come up with something. I'll see what I can do. What can we do? Aren't all the engines scrammed? For starters, we gotta land before we crash. Then, we wait to be rescued. <laughs> yeah, just use Great the doors! Plan. Look, my mission is to bring you to our leader. Until then, I'll watch out for you. Trust me. You're as safe as... Uh, as a turtle in its shell. A turtle dropping out of orbit. Huh? You say something? Nothing. <laughs> That's right. atmosphere in another 30 seconds. Get ready for a bumpy ride, you two. And keep wagging those tongues and you'll bite them off. I wouldn't want either of you to die of blood loss. Roger, yes, ma'am. Just gotta buckle into your safety belts again. <laughs> so, yeah, this is going to be the majority of the game. Uh, this planet. Oh, we're gonna go to other places too, but um what is that thing? Yeah, this is the main game area.
So yeah, uh, we just crash landed in the middle of a city. Well, Prime Directive, just shred that up right now. Well, we don't have any clue what tech level they're at, but uh, they don't know that it's a spaceship, so uh, yeah, again, I guess we're violating that uh, that UP3. What do we do now? Well, I guess what you have to keep in mind the last time, um, like we landed, okay, like on the last planet, we basically landed in the middle of a farming village in the middle of nowhere, so... You know, maybe that wasn't exactly the best representation of that planet's technology, right? Uh, this time we've landed in a city. Okay, I can't go out the door. Hey, it won't open that easily. So we gotta think of something. Okay, what kind of planet is it? Hmm. Okay, closely resembles Earth. So the technology level on this planet is near that of medieval Earth or around the 17th century. Hmm. Yeah, again, don't panic. Yeah, this is more than just a simple violation. We're going to space jail. But don't worry about it. Just don't worry. Uh, can we hit this orange thing? Does, does the orange thing do anything? No. Uh, well, can we go out now? Nope, it's still locked. Hmm. Can I do anything with my seat? Uh, no. There's not that much to do here. Okay, uh, information about our current area. Yet yeah, sentient life forms do live in this area. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, okay, no detailed information, uh, but it's a pretty large city. Alright, yet yeah, there's snow. Uh huh. Okay, so now we also know that there are two major continents on this planet. So there's the one we're on now, and another one to the east. So the continent to the east appears to have a slightly higher civilization level, so they have more technology on the east side of the planet. Alright, and he just, he's just gonna tell me not to panic. <laughs> Oh, soldiers. Out of the way. Off the road. What's this? An Aquarius new weapons? <laughs> yeah, I love the titles. I really do. Oh well, let's just step outside and see what 
yeah, let's just go outside. Let's see what. Let's see how that goes down. Let's see how that works out for us. Hold on, just a second. Even minimal contact with the inhabitants of an underdeveloped planet will get us in trouble. Besides, we have no idea what they'll do to us once we're out there. You got any better ideas? I hate to point this out, but I think we've already made contact. Rather forcefully, anyway. Well, still. Don't worry. I've got a hunch they won't kill us right away. Another hunch? <laughs> Just a hunch. Probably eat us. Well, we'll probably be taken prisoner. You say it like you don't even care. Yeah, but only you and I will survive. Huh? What about Mirage? We'll have Mirage wait until later to make an escape. Okay, so I guess, yeah, we'll have her wait inside the ship and, uh, because I guess they can't really figure out how to get into it, right? So he's not completely stupid. That's good. But Mirage, all alone? <laughs> You're forgetting. She's a clone. Yeah, she's got the Matrix bullet time dodging too. You'll be fine. I pity the soldier that tries to take her. Want me to come rescue you? Nah, no need. There'll probably be too many of them anyway. We'll think of something. Scout around and find a way to contact the Dipples. Don't put yourself in danger trying to hook up with us. They should be able to home in on our position as long as we make contact. They can come get us then. Roger. All right, time to go. All right, well, let's get captured. Thank you. Be careful. Thanks. You too, Mom. All right, well, let's let's go outside. Hey, there's something moving. What? First contact. Oh, they just attack, huh? Wait, please. Give it up. Give up. Look behind you. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, I guess this is the the king. We believe it to be a new Aquarian weapon, Your Majesty. We have the two crew members locked up in the dungeon. Very well. Continue with your investigation and step up the pace of the invasion of Arius. If the enemy has indeed brought a new weapon into active service, then time is of the essence. Your Majesty. This object that has fallen on our city is truly a new Aquarian weapon, then we are in trouble. Aquaria has shown an admirable ability to wage war. Hmm, I wonder if the advisor is going to be evil. Lord Waltar appears to lack confidence. Harry well, I think he's definitely going to be evil. Cavalry, he's got the goatee. Black Brigade Heavy Cavalry, and my winged Dragon Brigade for good measure. They stand no chance against our legion, sir. 
Their weapons have proven themselves little threat to us. Anything they throw at us, we return in spades. Pride comes before the fall. Surely a measure of prudence would do us no harm. Right, Albert? Okay. Yeah, he, he's definitely going to be a villain. <laughs> if they're the enemy, we kill them. If they aren't, we dispose of them. Simple. If only things were as simple as you say. Regardless, we have yet to see any evidence the object is a new Aquarian weapon. My men have already begun to interrogate the crew members. They'll talk before long. The Inquisitor, he only seemed to enjoy it too much. He is the best. As long as they do not die before they talk, we are not barbarians. Even prisoners have certain rights, you know. You speak absurdities. Prisoners have no rights. We'll hurt them until they squeal. Torture always works. If they die as a result, then so be it. You've grown much too soft in your old age, Volta. Compared to you and your troop, I'm willing to do what's necessary. But I think your men have a tendency to take things too far. What's the big deal? Just find out whether they're enemies or not. If that's too much trouble, I'll be happy to take care of them. We know what we have to do, my lord. Don't worry. If we do kill them, we'll make sure they cough before they croak, eh? I certainly... That will be quite enough. Now is not the time for us to haggle over such matters. Indeed, it is not. Vox, the eyebrows. Interrogation. Voltar and Albel, return to your posts. We are counting <laughs> on your knights. You are the pride of our great kingdom. Yes, yes sir. sir. Why don't you bring out the gimp? <laughs> Come on, it's a fucking gimp. It's just a fucking gimp. Mm-hmm. They sure will. That thing you were riding, what was that? A new Aquarian weapon, eh? Answer the question! <laughs> Oh, this is a not a very good situation that we're in. Well, I think we went into the dungeon a boy, and I think we're gonna come out a man. <laughs> you. Oh, one in the cell. Yes, sir. No, thank God, I still have pants. Yo, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Ah, uh, ouch. You don't look fine. Man, they really put the restraints on him. Well, yeah, 
but I'm more used to torture than you are. Gets tortured every Tuesday. Because you're a member of an anti-federation organization. You could say I've been around. Uh, you held up pretty well, though. What could I do? It's not like they'd believe me if I told them I came from outer space. Good point. Why'd you let them catch you anyway? I mean, you could have gotten away, right? Huh? Nah, it would have been too much of a hassle. A hassle? Yeah, a pain in the butt. So I couldn't just leave you there anyway. And I kind of wanted to see what was going on firsthand. So, did you find anything out? As a matter of fact, I did. What? The whips on this planet hurt too. <laughs> Very funny. I like Cliff. He's a bit of an asshole, but I like him. Do you know what Aquaria is? Aquaria? The interrogator kept mentioning it. He kept referring to the Eagle as a new Aquarian weapon. Huh. Must be the name of their enemy. So what? They think we're spies? I'm thinking you got that right. These restraints are pretty solid. Damn, they're too tight. I can't move at all. Um, that's why they call them restraints? Don't bother me with semantics, kid. How are we gonna get out of these? Well, I guess it's back to the torture dungeon. Do you think Mirage got away okay? Ah, she'll be fine. Like I told you, she's a Clausian. Bet she snuck off into town a long time ago. I hope you're right. Ugh. How am I supposed to rescue my dad trapped like this? I don't know why the Vendini captured him, but I doubt they're showing him much hospitality. Hey, cheer up. Somebody will show up to spring us out of this place soon enough. Then we'll be on our way. Yeah, let's just wait to get rescued. Let's just, just wait to get rescued. Somebody be. You told Mirage she shouldn't bother coming in after us. And it's not like we know anybody else. And I doubt your leaders found out about what happened to us yet. They're here already. Oh. What? Who? Huh? Friend or foe? I don't know, but there's somebody here. Hey. Looks like a new party member to me. You have two options. Accept my conditions and live, or refuse and die here. It's your choice. <laughs> huh? What kind of options are those? The correct choice should be obvious. So what are your conditions? I want your help, that's all. Our help? That's right. You two were riding that lump of metal that fell in the town, correct? We want your technology. Ooh, they, they want our technology. Well, again, you know, we've come this far, right? Our technology? We can't let you have that. Why not? Why not? Well, you can't tell them about the UPT. How am I going to explain it? And what would you do with our technology if we gave it to you? We'd use it to end the war that rages between this country and mine. With our side victorious, of course. Hold on a minute. Your country? So, you're not one of the people who threw us in here? No, I'm not from Erigold. I'm from Aquaria. Aquaria? The interrogator kept mentioning that name. Makes sense now. If you've been interrogated, I wouldn't think you'd have any particular loyalty to Ergle. Why not help me? Well, the plot thickens. Let, let's go for it. Good point. We'll help you. What are you saying? Yeah, the rogue and or spy. Or both. Give us a moment, alright? 
your trap, kid. But she wants our technology. What were you planning on teaching them? Come on, you saw this civilization's level of technology. Look, all they need is a little college kiss. I don't know about you, kid, but I was paying attention in class. You're right about that. But what about the UP3? Man, what a square. And again, maybe that's your redeeming feature, huh? Straight as an arrow, just like me. Yeah, what a square, kid. Loosen up a little bit. You gotta, gotta, you know, you only live once. You gotta get in there. Just, you know, just fuck these primitives. Just like who? Who? Did I say something? Never mind. I'm minded. Please forget about it. Listen, based on what she said, we must be very close to her. In this case, she's at war with her country, Aquarius. So far? Yeah. Good. Okay. Both sides think we have some kind of unknown technology. It doesn't make much sense. A big flying metal thing did land in the middle of a medieval town. What else is there? Even if we don't cooperate with her, Aerodeus will want our help too. I doubt their terms will be any better. Yeah, but. So what I'm saying. If we're gonna cooperate with someone, it might as well be that hot chick over there. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, you know what? I, I agree with Cliff. Let's do it. I can't believe this. You're insane. Well, okay. Let's say that was a joke. Either way, we can do whatever we want once we're out of this place. We have a day for our chance and make a run for it. We're not doing much better here in prison with our hands all in shackles. And if we die here, who's gonna rescue your dad, huh? I figured you'd want to meet him in this life, not the next. All right. You win, for now. Atta boy. All right, we've discussed it. We'll help you. Now get us out of here. Then we have a deal. Step back from the bars. Oh, magic! They got the magic! What did she just do? You're free. Thanks for getting us out of there. Now, uh, can you use that little trick of yours to get these off us, too? Don't move. <laughs> Yeah, that that magic trick called a knife. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, you know, latency. It happens, tinfoil. It's all right. No thanks needed. I'm just doing my job. But I'm going to hold you to your part of the bargain. Huh? You said you'd cooperate with us. I don't think you can just wait for your chance to run, either, because I won't let you. If you try, I'll kill you. Yeah. Hey, she heard us. I should thank you for calling me hot for a chick I can live without. Scary. Well, slightly awkward, then. I'm Nell Zelfer, agent for the Sacred Kingdom of Aquaria. Also, hey, playable character. Of course. My name's Fate Limegar, and this is... Cliff Fitter. Fate and Cliff. My pleasure. So, where are you from? And what is the metal thing you came here with? So, what's our cover story? What do we tell them? Just follow my lead. I'll know. from a country on a continent far to the east of here. It's a pretty small country, so nobody's really heard of it, but we've got some pretty solid technology. Of course, we're we're from the far east, that other continent that has slightly better technology. Yeah, of course, why not? That's the story. From the east. One of the countries in Greeton? Not the country that invaded Aquaria. 
That what you call it here? Yeah, that's where we're from. We're engineers. What are engineers from Greeton doing in Arrogate? Well, the long story would take all day. So, I'll give you the short version. Faith's dad got uh, captured by an enemy country. We were on our way to rescue him in this newly developed uh, vehicle, but it broke down on the way. Then, we ended up here. Makes sense to me. no country on this continent with that level of technology. It was an easy conclusion. Well, you satisfied? More or less. What I am sure of is there's no way we can let Aerogleth have you. You must cooperate with us. No. That's your name, right? Yes. What do you mean by cooperate? What technology did you want exactly? Yes, well... <laughs> oh, guards! Hey, you! What? <laughs> They're changing the guard already? You two, you have any fighting experience? Oh, we're getting ready for a fight! Because you're about to get some. About to get some? Alright! Oh, wait, no, fights! Uh, right, mm. Don't you worry about us. You could say we're above average. In more ways than one. You might be able to fight with your bare hands, but I need some kind of weapon. I thought this might happen. In there. What's this? Your stuff. I got it back for you. Great. Thanks. One more thing. Faith, right? You can't go around dressed like that. I don't know if the size will match or not. Anyway, put those on. All right, we're gonna get uh, gonna get some new clothes to blend in. Oh, thank you. All right, we got our things. And hey, look, we we look all cool now. Yeah, take a look at that. We we got like some armored pants now and a and a vest that doesn't look. Uh, we don't look like a dumb tourist anymore. Also, we got our sword strapped to our back now. I, I gotta be honest, like, I I've never seen, like, a sword wielded like that. Like, wh why would you put your sword, um, why would you lay your sword horizontal on your butt? Um, like, just imagine going through a door and getting stuck, right? Oh, hey, there there's people in here. Huh. Yeah, blending in, we're just we're just one world too late. And hey look, we got a new character. So we've got Nell now. Oh guards. Oh no. No, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can Man, I, I can't get close enough. There we go. Oh, bonus. Well, Nell went down, but that's okay. Level ups. And hey, I love the battle music. It's fun. Hurry. They'll be here any minute. Wait a second. Yes. How are we gonna get out? There are lots of soldiers outside. We'll go out through there. Looks 
like kind of a tight fit. Don't complain. If we can get through there, it widens out a bit. We'll just have to squeeze through that first one. Yeah, yeah. Time to crawl through some vents. You go first. I'll bring up the rear. It's like, well, I, I guess, yeah, yeah. She goes last because, well, she's not wearing any pants. That's kind of a, yeah. Could get, could get just a little bit awkward. Where are we? We're in the aqueducts that wind their way under the city. Aqueducts, huh? Hey, it's all frozen over. This comes as a surprise to you? It is winter in Aeriglyph. Didn't you see the snow falling outside? Hmm, good point. Careful. You're no good to us if you fall in the water and freeze to death. Scary. Let's get moving. This way leads to the city if we can make it through. All right, we got a dungeon. Yeah, that's what this is. This right here be a dungeon. <laughs> So let's see, everyone's alive again. And let me take a quick look at the skill setup. So Cliff has to have some skills, right? No skills. Nell, oh, Nell has shockwave. So emits a long and narrow shockwave in the direction faced. Hmm, okay, well, let's go ahead and set that up. All right, uh, let's see, status, tactical. Ooh, an anti-attack aura. Huh. Interesting. Well, any symbology? Okay, so they have. So this character has magic. Uh, this character has some heal magic and fire magic. Good to know. <laughs> All right. Well, let's save the game. All right, and uh, man, we've been at this for uh, for a while now. So you know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say that maybe like for now, I think we're good. Uh, I think this is it for Star Ocean till the end of time for today.